you see you see how it goes Hi guys, in front of me the new Stelvio 2024, in just three words guys, evolution more than revolution, why? Because this is a V100 Mandelo engine and uh, it is incorporated, it is mounted to an ADV motorcycle and uh, to be honest this is perfect i mean you cannot expect more this is what was missing so the moto guzzi stelvio 2024 what a great machine <laughs> Hi guys, I am in front of the Moto Guzzi Stelvio and uh, this is new for 2024. We were expecting this machine for a long time and uh, right now that I'm standing in front of it, I have to say that um, it looks very, very uh, stylish and modern, but uh, this is something that the latest Guzzi's, uh, let's say, uh, have and uh, some details are really really well done i have to mention it now the bike it's uh, very very comfortable in comparison with the v100 mandelo even that one it was but uh, i am six foot one or 185 centimeters tall and uh, this machine uh, feels very very appropriate for me so i cannot say uh, that i need more space I cannot say that uh, I am not comfortable the handlebar it's huge just look at the dimensions of it so very very large and uh, you have uh, the feeling that you are in command of everything on this motorcycle and uh, the seat height is at uh, 830 millimeters and look how soft it is really really soft so also the passenger has a great amount of space on the seat and uh, it is a shaft driven like Guzzi's R. it is a v2 Guzzi engine it performs very well and uh, it has 115 horsepower delivering these horses at uh, 8700 revs and uh, the peak torque is amazing it is just like on the v uh, 100 Mandela, so 105 Newton meters at uh, 6750 revs. So, very, very uh, refined and modern and also torquey engine. Liquid cooled, uh, not for the first time. That's why I'm saying it is more of a evolution than revolution. So, uh, we already saw this engine. Uh, in the V100 Mandelo and now it has a different uh, disguise I would say this is the ADV version of that bike so more upright more comfortable bigger with the 
front 19 inch wheel and the rear 17 inch wheel and uh, it is also equipped with uh, a lot of modern tech some would say that some things are missing yes okay they are but uh, really I don't need them really I don't need them I am a guy an old school guy and uh, for me having the ABS having the cruise control having the adjustable and in this case electronically adjustable windshield it's just very very nice and uh, I don't ask for more so this one is equipped also with the cruise control so here you can set the cruise control um, he is equipped also with the riding modes here uh, it has also the uh, USB point or port as you wish here it's showing the outside temperature the range gear indicator but this is something that uh, nowadays almost every uh, bike has and um, we can see also uh, very very uh, modern uh, let's say tech uh, like riding mode so strada means road uh, turismo means tourism Pioggia means rain and uh, windshield adjustments uh, it's here but uh, you can just adjust it if you are going into the menu so this is maybe a bit of a downside but uh, it is just like I mentioned so uh, a very very readable and well made TFT in color display and um, this uh, part here it's uh, just something that it's missing on some ADV bikes so here you can have your navigation system or even your action cam whatever you want so adjustable like I see right now here uh, front suspension and uh, the rear suspension has the very very useful uh, adjustable uh, preload here so you just turn it left or right it depends what you want this is not equipped with the quick shifter and um, the uh, even uh, more equipped version of this motorcycle has also the uh, blind spot uh, system uh, it has also the uh, adaptive cruise control and um, in that case uh, it is uh, quite a bit uh, expensive so this one comes in Slovenia uh, at uh, 16,000 euros and uh, I think that uh, the price nowadays for such a motorcycle it's just right so uh, I have to say that uh, having such a package with the shaft drive Brembo brakes rear and front I have to say double disc at the front and uh, all LED lightnings like you see here so blinkers and the front headlight it is just very very uh, let's say well equipped motorcycle so if you're gonna go very far then you should consider this one guys really this one the fuel tank it's also very nicely shaped and uh, I am uh, let's say uh, quite surprised that uh, they uh, designed uh, so well this motorcycle and I have to say that I was already impressed by the V100 Mandela from last year so those of you who are interested can check it on my channel but uh, this one is uh, even better and I would say it is a evolution instead of a revolution and uh, the thing that uh, I appreciate most is that uh, now I can sit very comfortably on it and uh, I am not bothering about the cylinders uh, that are uh, just uh, in front of my legs let's check the sound guys now so the Moto Guzzi logo and now yeah 
that shake, you know, guys. Let's hear the sound. Let's mention some details. Uh, it has a six-speed gearbox. The clutch, it's a hydraulic one and uh, it feels quite light. Uh, it has uh, 246 kilos, so not light, not too heavy. I mean, appropriate for an ADV bike of this kind. And uh, it is uh, very, very well uh, proportioned, I would say. So uh, it feels quite big when you're looking at it, but when riding, it's a totally different story. I am on board and uh, it feels very comfortable. My knees are uh, at a very nice uh, angle, so uh, no pain, nothing. And uh, the handlebar is quite close. This is very similar to my tracer, but this one it's a lot wider. So uh, I don't have anything bad to say about the riding position. The windshield, it's uh, a bit more upright uh, than uh, one may expect, but uh, this is how they designed it. I have to say that uh, the comments are very clear and uh, here you have everything related to the uh, TFT dash. So uh, the cruise control and here you go into the menu and switch everything, I mean every feature that this one has. So riding mode, traction control and uh, so on. Uh, here you can also adjust the windshield and uh, later I'm gonna try it on the highest position uh, to check how it protects. But uh, till now I have to say that uh, it is very very comfortable and uh, right now I am in the rain mode but we'll uh, switch it right now to the let's say off-road no sport let's go into Strada this is a kind of a normal uh, riding mode I would say so the mirrors are very well known ones so small elegant but uh, in this case also very efficient because the handlebar is so wide and uh, they are very well positioned nothing to say against the TFT screen wonderful I cannot complain I cannot complain really it is very readable it is clear it is in color so very nice sometimes maybe one could have some problems reading these very little letters but uh, I don't see this as a problem right now at least for me I have to say that uh, the seat it's very comfortable it's soft but in the same time it is uh, not too soft I mean it's uh, they nailed the seat so uh, I'm riding more than an hour uh, and uh, I just feel that I could go one more or even two more hours without stopping so this is a great thing Moto Guzzi great thing about the suspension the suspension it's uh, uh, quite soft but not too soft so uh, you have the possibility to adjust it and um, I wouldn't uh, adjust it too much maybe just a preload adjustment would be needed for me but this is uh, the case of most bikes so uh, it is uh, very uh, well made suspension in my opinion it is time to try the brakes yeah, here it's gonna be the right moment. Yeah, very good, very powerful brakes, I have to admit it. About the engine, 
it is the same one as uh, that on the V100 Mandela and uh, it is refined, it is vibes free, it is uh, torquey, uh, everything. I mean, um, you cannot expect more uh, in this regard. So uh, it has the punch, it has that pull that uh, gives you uh, a smile on your face and let's check it uh, you see you see how it goes it goes like crazy if you want it to go you can ride this bike like there is no tomorrow So, the throttle response is very soft and uh, there is no jerkiness, uh, you can be sure about it, uh, I tried it, um, riding uh, it also uh, at slower speeds and uh, no jerkiness, nothing. About the windshield, now it is on the higher position, if I put it down, I feel just more wind, but uh, on the highest position it is really protective, so uh, today it's a bit windy, but uh, I think that this is uh, also a very good windshield. If you need more air, you're gonna put it down. If you uh, need more protection, you're gonna put it up, so great no particular uh, buffeting with this windshield I am checking the turning circle a great one a great one guys you can uh, really do very nice turns you can see it right now yeah very good turning circle the bike feels very nimble it is not that much different from the V100 Mandela very light the chase is it's perfect and uh, it is also easy to ride about the consumption they say that um, it is um, around 5 liters, 5.1, 5.2 maybe, and um, I would agree. Uh, this one has a little bit higher consumption because uh, uh, it is uh, a brand new bike. I keep repeating that this is more of an evolution than a revolution. Why? Because Moto Guzzi made a great step, a great breakthrough with uh, the V100 Mandela introducing the liquid cooled engine there and this one has the same one this is just in the ADV disguise and uh, I like it a lot guys I think that uh, a lot of riders is gonna like this bike really how it goes three pros guys the engine a wonderful one torquey and without vibes with the great amount of power the second one it's the 
comfort on this machine so the seat it's very comfortable it's soft but in the same time very well made so i think that longer distances it's gonna be a piece of cake with this machine and uh, the third one it's the suspension and uh, that overall feel you know the bike it's very very nimble and uh, i have to say that uh, it feels right at the first moment when you uh, start to ride it so great thing moto guzzi great thing let's say something about the cons color options i would like to have more than just two colors guys this is really something that you know uh, would be better to have more options in blue or maybe in red this bike would look really really cool so uh, this is maybe just me but i would like to have it uh, in more color options the second uh, con it's about the windshield so if you would like to adjust it you have to go into the menu and then adjust it so maybe this is a bit of a downside and uh, the other thing is uh, that uh, it comes uh, without the center stand i mean it is just an option but uh, for a bike that is uh, 16000 euros uh, i think that they should include the uh, center stand uh, it is not crucial because this is a shaft driven motorcycle but having it when you are putting uh, the luggage on or when you are cleaning it and so on it is a great thing so why why moto guzzi you didn't put it as a standard feature okay guys this was all this was the Moto Guzzi Stelvio and uh, just like I said it is more of an evolution than revolution but uh, still revolutionary thanks for watching till the next one